Yo, what is up guys? In today's video, we are talking about the not forgotten nerf that's going to come with the season of opulence. I'm going to tell you guys how to really prepare for the nerf. I'm going to start by saying that not forgotten is still going to be the best weapon. A lot of people ask me, but not forgotten is still going to be the, the king on console, especially. I'm not going to talk about PC in this video. PC is not the same. I feel like NF is pretty much going to get nerfed a lot. Because no one's really using NF on PC right now. Ace is really good and all that stuff. Why am I saying that NF is still going to be the king on console? It's because it's going to change to 150 RPM. But the recoil is going to be exactly the same. So I'm going to show you guys an example. And uh, I'm actually going to change the rate of fire of NF to 150. You're going to see in a second. It's going to look pretty much like this. And uh, how did I get this result? I had to put a Midnight Coup and an NF at the same position, shooting at the same time, and we get the result of uh, 150. So as you can see, the recoil is pretty much the same. So right now in the game, everyone's pretty much using the same setup, the Dost Rock Blue, the Not Forgotten, and the Warcliffe. And with the new nerf that's going to come with the Season of Opulence, I think the meta is going to change a little bit because people are just tired of using those end cannons. So after the nerf, there's a lot of hand cannons that can be good. And I'm going to put a list right now of all the hand cannons you can try getting that are going to be decent in the meta. But they're not going to be good enough to compete against NF. There's three weapons in my opinion that can actually compete after the nerf. And I'm going to show you the list after. But let's start with the, the hand cannon that are going to be decent that you can try getting. So first for the 140s hand cannon, you can try getting the Jack Queen King. The Kindle Orchid, the Spare Ration, the DFA, and the Better Devil. For the 180 Archetype, I think the Trust is still going to be a really fun weapon to use and pretty good. But I don't feel like Trust is going to be able to compete like a high level comp and all that stuff. So here's the list of the top 3 weapons that I think are going to be really meta with the NF nerf. So first, let's talk about the last word so a number three why am i putting last word we all know that last word got a really fast time to kill one of the lowest time to kill in the game it's not going to compete at long range it's a close range weapon and i'm putting the last word in this top three because the last word is the best weapon to pair with a sniper and with season of opulence we are getting a new pinnacle weapon reward in comp and everyone is pretty much saying it's going to be a sniper and i think it's going to be a sniper too i hope so and if it is a sniper and the sniper is really good you're going to be happy to have a last word and to be able to really master last word too to be good with it because we all know that last word is not the easiest weapon to use on console it's pretty good on pc but on console the recoil is incredible so you gotta learn how to no scope and like aim sometime and and to help you guys with that, I know True Vanguard, another YouTuber, did a video on how to really use the last word on console. You guys could check the video. I'll put the link in the description. So yeah, I wasn't sure about putting last word in the top three, but I think that's a pretty good reason. And I think last word is really going to be able to compete. So for number one and number two, I got two choice and I think they're pretty tight. It's going to be Service Revolver and Ace of Spade. I think those two weapons are going to be the meta after the NF nerf. There's going to be three weapons, NF, Service, Evolver, and Ace. You're going to see it everywhere. So why am I putting them in the same position? It's just because that they're two different end cannons. One is a 180, so the Service, Evolver, and the other one's a 140. And for people that are just tired of 180s end cannon, Ace of Spade is going to be a really, really good weapon to use. And I'll probably use it. But I got to put Service Evolver because this thing is going to kill it. It's going to be so good because NF is going to shoot slower. And you're going to have the same feeling with the Service Evolver because you still can 3-tap and all that stuff. Really try getting the Service Evolver. And if you don't know how to get it, you need to complete 40 strikes in order to get it in the pool. You can buy it from Zavala, but the role he's selling is pretty bad. So you should try getting one yourself. And as soon as you do the 40 strikes, you can give tokens to Zavala and try getting a good roll. I'm going to tell you guys the best roll you can get. So the best roll for service Evolver, I'm going to give you the best perks you can have on the weapon. It's going to be Kill Clip. 
Also, we're going to have rapid hits, so rapid precision hits, temporarily increased stability and reload speed. So you're going to get the kill clip faster. Maybe Atla is going to be fine too, but try getting rapid hits. Also, you need the accurate rounds to have the more, most range possible. And you can use sure shot to have the full range or i like using true sight because you get three range three handling and three stability it's like pretty balanced and um for the master work you can try having range master work or reload speed master work can be good too and for the mod you can put backup mag or targeting adjuster it's up to you guys so the last weapon i'm going to talk about is going to be ace of spade this weapon i feel like that's going to be my favorite weapon to use. It's already my favorite weapon. It's just that in comp, I can't play something else than NF. You just get ran. So, Ace of Spade, try finishing the quest. You need this weapon, absolutely. It's going to be amazing after the NF nerf. But the only problem with this weapon is you actually need to practice your aim with it. Because you need to control the recoil. And to help you guys prepare for this meta, I'm going to teach you how to really control the Rico with Ace and uh, make sure you really master the weapon. So to control the Rico on Ace of Spade, you're going to need to play with the bottom joystick. So as you can see, I'm going to shoot without controlling the Rico. You're going to see the Ace of Spade, it's kicking a lot. The Rico is really like, really high. So as you can see, I'm not going to touch any joystick and I'm going to start shooting. You're going to see the weapon shooting straight up. It's just going to kick a lot. So it's going to be hard getting those precision kills if you need to. So to control the recoil, you're going to use the bottom joystick with so this one on the right side. And on PS4, it's going to be like the one on the right side every time. And you're going to have to lower it a little bit like this, maybe a little bit. It's going to be hard to see my, uh, my finger, but for example, if I shoot right there and I'm going to lower the joystick like this one just a little bit, and you're going to see the way I'm shooting. You see like... I'm shooting straight at the same spot every single time. That's how you're going to do it. And it's going to take you practice, but once you master it, Ace of Spade is going to be deadly. So in this video, I showed you guys a lot of hand cannons. I showed you guys the top three hand cannons. I feel like they're going to be really good. And all three of those hand cannons are primary. So you're going to need to replace that dust rock by, for example, Ace and... By using Ace, you're going to need a shoddy. And if you don't have a good shoddy right now, a good secondary shoddy, you're going to miss on something. So right now is the perfect time to farm for a shoddy. My favorite shoddy is this. Mindbender's Ambition. I have Quick Draw, Snapshots. You can have Accurize Rounds to make it better. Or Full Choke instead of Rifle Barrel. But this thing is a beast. It's so fun to use. I'm in love with it. And if you don't have mind benders, you can try getting a retail tail. Retail tail is really good too. And mind benders to get it, you need to complete the nightfall. Just farm the boss over and over again. Just keep doing the nightfall. And the retail, you just do dreaming city stuff. And since Ace of Spade is an exotic, you're not gonna be able to use the war cliff. And I recommend using a machine gun. Machine guns are really good. You can use the sins of the past too if you prefer rockets. But hammerhead is incredible. And if you pair it with a spectral and you crouch, you get the flawless execution. So try farming for a, a good machine gun. So yeah, that was the video. I'm trying to prepare you guys for the next meta. Even though the meta is still going to be the same, it's going to be NF spam, but it's going to shoot slower. So it's up to you guys if you want to practice with other stuff or stick with NF. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you drop a like. Comment what you think about the whole situation with the nerf and all that stuff. And make sure you subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.